Nino mugugu wabe mikwano Muna nsonyi wabe china njiza Na yenga ke mazima ya tenga kakawa Ladies and gentlemen, we have our dear elder brother, and his name is William, the firstborn of Mr. and Mrs. Gala, and he's here to share with us something from the bottom of his heart. What do you have to say out there to the youths? What do you have for them? Please share what is in your heart. Yes, thank you very much. Hi, my name is Inesa William, and uh, I'm a youth. I'm 20, 21 years old, and yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Gala are my parents. I've been born in the Christian setup, and ever since my childhood, my parents have always taught us to follow Christ, and if we follow Christ, we shall make it in life. Because also the Bible tells us that seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all shall be added unto you. And that's how as you have, we have been moving through this life as from childhood to the teenage years and now as we approach the adulthood. These have been trying moments to us as youths. First of all, as youths and Christian youths, many of our fellow youths out there, 
have been telling us that it is to be to be a Christian, a born again at this age and you know you have to stay firm and stay strong and tell them yes, I decided to follow Christ. And it's on that background or on that foundation that you as a youth can also tell other youths out there that they should follow Christ. And it's, you should lead by example. Because I personally have had some trying moments as a youth. At school, where you have to be bullied and you have to endure all that people have to say to you. And uh, as I went to my A level, I also got the chance to become a, become a leader at school and at the topmost level. But I faced many challenges. One was being that the people I led had some, like they used to undermine me. And in that, in that situation, all I had to do was to stay firm and I called upon Jesus Christ. And I know as those people, even in the Bible, it is, it is said that those, people trust, those who trust the Lord are like mountain Zion, which can never be shaken. I stood firm. I trusted the Lord. And with that, he helped me through my leadership and through my studies. And yeah, academically, I excelled because in my senior four, I got a first grade. And in my senior six, I also got three principal passes that can take me to the university. So I excelled, but it wasn't by my, my knowledge or my effort that I put in, but it was by God's grace and his kindness towards me that I managed to succeed. Amen. And so, as youths, we are facing many challenges. One being that outside there, there are many trials and temptations. Mm. One being the drugs. Mm. And of course, we as the male youths out there, mm. you know there is a challenge of relationships or coupling, as I may say. Yes. That we as we have peers, and you know, in those peers, we are always influenced mm. because you see your friends out there. They have maybe their girlfriends, and they tell you what's wrong. Why mm. don't you have one? And in that, you also forced if you are not strong and firm in the Lord, mm. you also forced to get one. Why? And it's, we are told in the Bible in Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse one, that everything on this world, in this uh, in this earth has its time. So if that's what the Bible tells us and you don't know what is written, then of course in the end you're going to be forced to go and join the peers. Mm. And you'll be taken up by the storm. You'll find the peers of drug addicts, alcohol, alcohol users, mm. and all other challenges that are in the world. So if you're not firm in the Lord as a youth, and if you're not firm in Christ, then you end up following the peers, and then in the end you destroy your future because the Lord is only the Lord that has the plans, the special plans for us in Jeremiah 29 11. Mm. So if you're not firm and you don't know what is written in the Bible, mm. then as a youth, you are doomed in this world. But once you step yeah. firm, you know what is written in the Bible, then surely you'll succeed. Wow, that's so beautiful, William. Thank you very much for sharing to the youths. And at this very moment, I would like you to give us an advice as parents. What do you think in your heart? Why are youths turning into stress to us, the parents? Every time we are shouting on top of our voices, we think they should be understanding what we think. They should be knowing. We have talked to them, like you said, your parents have raised you in a Christian manner. But very many times, William, youths are failing us. They are breaking our hearts as parents. They are not doing what we expect of them. We think they should be mature, but whatever they are doing is really stressing us. They are not doing their studies. We are wasting a lot of money on them. And at the end of it all, they become a disappointment to ask the parents, what message do you have as a child? What should we do to make it better, to, to make you do what is right? Do you think we can? Do you think our efforts can really help? Yes, uh, about that question. As parents, first and foremost, as I told you, that ever since we are young, our parents raised us to fear God and to 
take for, to take the Lord as our stronghold, our rock, our salvation. And with that, one, the first and foremost, what I will tell to parents is, as parents, you have to raise up your children in the way you want them to grow up. Because it's on that foundation, once you show them the Lord, give them what they are supposed to take in as children. Because it starts from down. If you are building a house and your foundation is not firm, the, the foundation you have put for a house is not that strong, then in the end, the house will end up collapsing. But if the foundation down is strong, then surely it will succeed. So on that basis, I also tell the parents that they should bring their children up in the Christian manner, in the manner that gives the Lord the glory and the honor, in the manner that they should, when people see them out there, they will know that, yeah, these people, they know God, they fear God. So it's all up to the parents to bring up the children in the Christian setting, in the setting that shows that they should fear the Lord. They should know what the Lord says, what the Bible says. And with that, surely they will succeed in this world. Because we are also examples, because in this setting that we are, there are many Muslims in this neighborhood, but when they see us, they see different people. They see people who fear the Lord. They see people who know God. And we are also not that scared to express our God because we tell them that we fear the Lord, that we serve the Lord with all our might, with all our strength, our knowledge, and with all our resources that we have. We, we serve the Lord. So those people out there, they also know that we, we are children of God. We are people of the Lord. So it's what our parents did when we were still children that has brought us to grow up God-fearing people, people who serve the Lord, people who love the Lord. So it's all up to the parents to bring the, to raise their children in the, in the setting that will show, that will surely bring them to success when they grow up in the future. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, I think you have heard that the foundation of every child is very important, according to William. William, thank you so much for what you have shared with us, and may the Lord bless you so much. May you shine in your future, and may the Lord bless your life, and we shall be here to enjoy every fruits that you will bring towards us, because you have told us that you are now a good example. I send you out to the world there to continue living a good life, being a good example, and helping many other youths. Uh, thank you so much, William. God bless you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. And right now we have Tina and Brian, my children. They're here to share with us what they feel in their hearts. So let me start with Tina. Tina, what do you feel that you would like to share with the youths out there? It's so beautiful, Tina. This is our beautiful lady, Tina, and that is what she had to share with all of you. Let us go to Brian. What do you have in your heart that you'd like to share with your fellow youths out there? Um, hello, my name is Mosiba Brian Mugera. I am the second born to Mr. and Mrs. Gala. So as, as me, I don't have much to say because I know being a youth is tough and our parents are so much stressed by this stage. 
But all I can encourage our, our dear parents to do is they should sit down with their children and take time to know them. Because as we know, most parents don't give and give a little glimpse of time to their children. And the children feel offended by that because they look around and they ask where our parents are, so we can talk to them. That's why they end up running out and seeing different things from outside. Rather than when they could have just sat down with their parents and had a little conversation which could have encouraged their lives. So I, I as me, I encourage all youth out there to stay strong and to live with me the verse which I go with is Psalms 34 verse 8 which says test and say that the Lord is good. Surely the Lord is doing many great things for everyone. As we started, we didn't have all this that we have. But because we tested and we saw that the Lord was good, He gave us more. And we believe He's still giving us more. So I encourage all youth out there to stay strong in the Lord. Even those who don't know the Lord, there's still time, there's still a chance that you can still know the Lord. Because the Lord loves all His children and welcomes all into His kingdom. So thank you so much for listening. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, these are the three children that I was with today, and they are saying bye. Can you please say bye to your friends? Thank you.